What's going on guys? Welcome to another Amazon Web Services tutorial video. In this video what I'm going to be doing is acquainting you with the command line here and getting used to working within a terminal instead of your typical desktop with folders that you can see and all this nice stuff. Uh, so initially when you uh, start looking into maybe running your own web server uh, you look into this stuff and how, how you know connecting via SSH works and all that and this whole kind of thing is just so intimidating that probably just get scared away right? and you just don't want to deal with something like that that's just that's just too annoying right so some people either just give up from there or they just stick with something like FTP and um, a lot of web servers are actually not even well they don't even come with FTP installed you can install it and then there is a couple options usually that you're gonna have to switch up uh, to allow for FTP transfers but um, Really, you should just get used to working within the terminal because you can do a lot of stuff and it's going to empower you with whatever server that you buy um, to do a lot of cool stuff. And at least with Amazon Web Services, I'm not really sure what you're going to do if you don't actually you know, use the command line. So this is just going to be a quick crash course in the various uh, commands that you're going to be using pretty much all the time. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and get started. So to figure out like where you are, you can type uh, PWD, and what that's going to do is it's going to output basically the full path to where you are. So I'm at slash home slash EC2 user. So like that's my username, right? I'm EC2 user. Uh, so that's going to give you where you are. Now you all, there's also a command for where you can go. So you can do ls, and that's going to list out all the directories that you can go to. In our case, we literally have nothing here. Uh, and that's because the server is just is just brand new. They give us a clean server. Plus, this is my user file, uh, so there's nothing here. But there are, there are plenty of things on this file uh, or on the server already. So to get there and kind of see what else is here, uh, the other things that we can do is you can change directory. So if we had a directory to move into, we could go cd and um, you know a new directory or something like that. Like say we had another directory, but we don't. So to move back though, you do a dot dot, um, and then sometimes you'll also see it as a dot dot slash and, and so on. But for just ease and simplicity, it's just dot dot. So now we've moved backwards, and now we're in. Remember, we were in slash home slash ec2 user. Now we've moved back, and now we're in home. So now if we do ls, we see that we have an ec2 user. Another thing that you can do is you can list uh, basically all. So you can do ls. Uh, dash la and that's going to list even uh, hidden files and usually they're hidden with a period in front of them and then there's like files like these like drwxr honestly don't know uh, what those stand for I've seen them before I remember doing a tutorial like this for my pi I don't know what those files are if you, if you happen to know feel free to leave a comment below uh, but we're not going to mess with those but anyway you can do that to see also like hidden files and stuff like that uh, subsequently, we can, you know, go back again, and then uh, another thing you can do just for uh, quick access is you can hit the up arrow, and it gives you like the last thing you typed, and you can continue hitting the up arrow for all the things that you've done. Uh, so anyway, we'll just continue going back. So we can see that we can't go back any further. So where are we? Uh, we've got all of these files here, um, or folders rather, or actually, the proper name is directories. Anyway. Um, so that's that. So that's how you can kind of navigate. And so you could be like, okay, well, I want to go back to home. So CD home. Now we're in the home directory. LS CD C2 dash user. And now we're back uh, where we started. So that's how you just kind of bebop around. Now let's say you actually want to start doing stuff on your server. Now if you're just, you know, it's just you, you could put stuff wherever the heck you wanted to. But if you ever, you know, if you're going to have multiple people working on this server, Sometimes it makes sense to keep everybody's files underneath their username. So we're going to just assume that's the case and we want to keep, keep that working. Uh, so what do we do? So if you want to uh, make a file, uh, making files is pretty easy. There's uh, two commands basically to make files. The first one is touch and that just literally makes the file. Uh, but I honestly I never use touch because you, if you're going to either you want to open the file or you want to make um, you know, like a new file, but the only time you're going to make a new file, you're probably going to edit it, right? So 
Anyway, uh, the other thing you can do, so you can do touch, uh, and then you can call it, you know, new file.txt, right? But I'm not going to do that. We're going to do nano new file.txt. And not only does it create it, if it doesn't exist, it automatically opens it up in your whatever uh, editor you're using here, right? So, uh, so with nano being our editor, now we can do um, pretty much anything we want, you know, uh, example text, yeah. And then to exit, you can see all of the commands down here. Uh, so control X, like that up arrow just means control X. Then it says, do you want to save your changes? Yes. And then as long as you always want to, you know, save them to the same file, just hit enter. Uh, otherwise you can change the name and you've created that file. Now if we ls, now we see new file.txt exists. And again, if we nano into new file.txt, uh, it's still there and it saved it for us. Now that we've done um, nano and what we can do there, the other thing that we um, might want to consider is maybe we've started putting a lot of files into EC2 user and now we're like, hmm, we should make another folder or directory uh, and maybe store some files there so we can start organizing all these files that we've made. So to make a directory, it's pretty simple. It's just mkdir. And it's obviously going to make it either wherever you say or you can specify a path. But if you don't you know, specify, it's just going to make it right there. Same thing with files, of course. So um, I'm trying to think of what we could call this. Uh, I don't know. We'll make this, this, this uh, directory called epic. You hit enter. Now we have that. If we ls, we can see that we have this epic directory and a new file.txt. So now we can cd into epic, and here we are. Now let's cd back out again. And let's say now um, we made this uh, directory, and now we start, we're like, well, we want to move these files, right? We want to move them into that directory. So how do we do that? Well, it's pretty simple. Uh, all you're going to really need to do is... Uh, you type out mv, and then whatever the file is. So in our case, we want to move this new file.txt. And then where do you want to move it? In our case, we'll move into epic. So now when we go ls, you see we no longer have new file.txt. But if we cd into epic uh, and then ls, we see that we do indeed have new file.txt in there. So we've moved it into that file, or that folder, rather. Now, what if, let's go back uh, to our user, ls here, and we have epic. Now let's make dir uh, recycle, or actually let's call it trash. Uh, ls, now we have epic and trash. What if we want to move every epic and its contents to trash? Well, we would do mv epic trash, right? So now we ls, it's not there, uh, oops cd trash and here we are uh, we see epic is in there um, so not cd back out oops and that's how you move folders around um, finally uh, let's do nano delmi.txt and we'll just exit. We just wrote some random stuff in there. Yeah, we want to exit. Uh, so there's our file. How do we actually get rid of uh, a file that we want to get rid of? Well, uh, to remove them, you just do rm and then delmi.txt, for example. We'll ls again, and delmi.txt is all gone. What if uh, we've got make dir uh, delmi? So we've made a directory called delmi, and if we want to get rid of uh, what if we want to get rid of that? Well, to get rid of a directory, it's rmdir, and then what directory? In our case, delmi, and now you can see uh, it's gone. So that's going to cover the basics to navigating the terminal and doing a lot of you know basic, simple tasks. In the next video, I'm going to be introducing you guys uh, to Python, putting up a script in, uh, you know, making a script and running that script within the terminal. And then I'm also going to show you guys a few key files and point out just uh, a couple things that I had mentioned earlier. So anyways, uh, stay tuned for those videos. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support and your subscriptions. And until next time.